what's up youtube you checking out the frequent flyer if you're just checking back in welcome back right now we're about to talk about this spc maker 95 gf now initially when i powered this thing up for the first time and i took off with it i didn't change anything and this thing was in no condition to fly it didn't have any pit tuning well if it did it didn't have good pit tuning it was like vibrating around it was just acting really weird especially since they gave us a set of 3s batteries with it this time i think before they were giving out 2s batteries with these but this has really nice components on it it has 7500 kv motors branded by spc maker so i guess they're making them or whatnot <laughs> but they're 1104 motors and these motors are very powerful really nice motors and it comes with a run cam micro swift as you can see there and it has a switchable vtx switchable from zero to 25 milliwatts all the way up to 100 milliwatts which i think is a nice spot to be as far as the milliwatts and reception and all i really like 100 milliwatts but i've been having a lot of problems with this now i did tune it it appeared to be flying very nice i took it out to the park and i had some really nice flight footage to show you guys with it but somehow the fpv portion of the video didn't record and so i lost that and so I ended up scrapping that video that I shot with this thing, flying it out at the park. I was flying it with 2S and 3S batteries, and it was just flying really nice. Appeared to be tuned out very nice. And so then I brought this thing back to my flight area where I usually fly at on the side street here. Well, I attempted to do a flight to show you guys some FPV with this thing. And I just kept getting fail safes. I think they were fail safes because it wasn't the flip of death. I know the difference now. The flip of death is when your flight controller resets and this thing just starts flipping and it falls. But a fail safe is usually when everything just stops and you lose control and the craft just sort of drops like a rock. You know, it doesn't flip out or anything, it just stops, you know. The thrust just stops, everything just stops, and it just falls because that's what the beta flight setup is at on fail safe. So that's what happens. A lot of times it happens when I'm upside down, it'll just stop and I'll just come smashing down upside down. I figured that it was fail safing on me, so I thought it was the receiver. So I actually removed this receiver that it came with, thinking that it's this receiver, because but this is a DSMX receiver, which is the better of the two of DSM-2 and DSM-X. This protocol, DSM-X, is supposed to be a little more reliable, a lot more reliable than the DSM-2. And so I was thinking that, you know, this is one of those little tiny receivers, no diversity. So I think, I thought that this was the reason why I was having the fail safes. So I removed it and put one of my uh, diversity receivers in here my satellite receivers that I usually use and it was doing the same thing it just fail safes a lot for some reason I don't know why I, I'm flabbergasted <laughs> I really can't come up with a solution to stop it from fail safe and it's fail safe and all the time I did get it tuned out pretty nicely though I was it was flying pretty nice with uh, 3s and 2s but those fail safes I just can't figure it out and I'm just tearing up all the components <laughs> this uh, antenna here for FPV as you can see it's all bent up because I'm constantly uh, squeezing it with the pliers to get them back into shape because it keeps uh, fail safing every time I do a flip or even when I fly uh, behind myself, it'll do a fail safe and it'll come crashing down. Now, I was wondering if it was my transmitter because I'm using a Devo. And it definitely wasn't the Devo because I have all my models on the SMX that I fly with the Devo. Most of them. I only have maybe one Fly Sky that I fly with the uh, Devo. But anyhow, I've tested it with all of my other models and none of my other models 
NFL safe. They all still have great distance and all, great range. And this one just fell safe sometimes even just a few feet away. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just mind boggling that this thing just keeps on fail safing. It keeps having a fail safe even though I swapped out the uh, receiver. So I'm just tired of losing components. <laughs> I really think that I'm I'm not going to even fly this thing anymore. It's I, As you can see, I do have different color props on here because it's I just tore up all the props. They do give you a lot of uh, accessories with it. They give you this nice carrying case here. It's got nice components. They give you a lot of nice accessories with it. They give you a bunch of set of props. I think they give you three or four sets of props. And there are these good props here. So on paper, this thing should be a really awesome setup here. The price is a little outrageous, I think. But they do try to compensate for that by giving you a bunch of accessories and all. But I, I'm afraid they just missed an uh, important part of it. They really need to tune these things. They should have somebody over there flying them and tuning them to make sure that they fly at least somewhat good out of box that you don't have to spend so much time trying to get them to fly and all but uh i actually did get mine tuned pretty well but the fail safes just keep happening i don't know what it is maybe it's the carbon fiber that they used i'm not sure maybe it's because of where the receiver is placed in here right on top of the vtx maybe the vtx heats up and it bothers the the uh receiver i'm not sure i don't know what it is i'm tired of trying to figure it out so i think i'm probably just going to take this thing apart and use the parts because it does come with some really nice components on it this frame really looks nice and if i'm not mistaken one of the reviewers at one point said that this was the best flyer hands down i think this was the one and so i was kind of excited about getting it thinking that this was going to be a really nice flyer and maybe I got a defective one I don't know uh, maybe but I know for sure that other reviewers are complaining about it vibrating and stuff and not being tuned but I guess if you can get past that part and if you don't have the fail safes <laughs> with the uh, receiver there then maybe it is a good flyer but even when I did have this thing flying really nice and I was out at the park with it it still wasn't better than the leader 120 i think the leader 120 is still the best uh binding flight well it's, a, it's actually a pnp a plug and play i think that's the best option that you have and it's really cheap a lot cheaper than these here i think you can get maybe two or three of those uh leader 120s for the price of this thing here and the leader flies better but uh I don't know what the, uh, they did give us some 3S batteries and they give you two of them. And I did get another SPC Maker quad and it came with two batteries as well. Two more 3S batteries. So they're really giving away some nice components here and nice accessories and the carrying case and all. And it's just a lot that they give you, but the actual quad just comes up short in its flight. And, well, I guess, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's just, um, I'm just tired of losing props and smack. As you can see here, the lens almost broke. I came down and hit that. So we have a really bad uh, dent or scrape on the lens there on the outer edge of it. And this is, like I said, this is constantly being flattened. All my screws here are all scraped up from it hitting the ground a lot. I got a little damage on the on the frame here. This is a very sturdy frame, though. I can say that because you guys know I fly over concrete. So all this damage on this was done from hitting the concrete. And this thing is still <laughs> able to fly, it looks like. But I'm not going to fly it anymore because I don't want to keep taking damage to the props and all and I don't want to risk destroying this run cam micro here I can put this in another quad 
and you guys get the idea. So this thing will be recycled. Definitely going to the chop shop. I did do a flight video for you guys to check out of this thing out here on the side street. So let's go check it out. To fly on 3S, you really have to adjust the pids, lower the P and D gains a lot. And uh, they, they just didn't do that. So when I first got this out in the field, I put a 3S on it that they gave us and I was flying it. It was fluttering and uh, acting real weird, you know, taking off in the air and stuff. And so I had to adjust the pit. So I had to adjust the pits in order to accommodate the 3S battery. And now it flies great though. Really nice components in here. And if you get the pits right, um, it's a nice flyer. So we're going to take it up. And fly it real quick I'm not gonna try not to talk too long because it's cold out here and the cold does a number on the batteries the lipo batteries really don't like cold so we're gonna get this thing fired up I didn't even get a chance to get a toothbrush and get all this dirt from packed underneath the motor here but the motor seems to spin freely though so we're gonna go ahead and take it up Real quick, I'm gonna just go in and show you guys what my pids look like. There it is there, the pids. In case you guys wanted to see that. So we're going, pause it, save it, write it down, whatever you gotta do. So let's take off with it. So we're on the stock 3S battery. You guys can see on 3S, this thing is a monster. <laughs> so flies really nice. Not the best pids, but they do work though. I guess it's not all the way tweaked, but it is pretty good though. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Did it just brown out on me? I don't know what happened just now. <laughs> I don't know if it browned out or not. I don't know what happened. It just fell on me. It didn't flip over. It didn't do a death roll. But it just seemed like it might have been a loss of power or something. Because I did give throttle and it didn't go up. Well, it seems to be flying nice now. Let's try some FPV. Yeah, so something's going on with it. It just browned out on me. Okay, let's go get it. <laughs> so, I don't know what it is. I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's, I think it's the receiver that's in it. It has a really small receiver. Now, I admit that that did happen before once and I was trying to figure out what it was and I'm thinking it's probably that receiver because the receivers, it's, a, it's not a diversity receiver, it's DSMX and I think I'm getting fail safe because the antenna is so short. So let's see, I have it set up as a lost model alarm buzzer. So here we are here. Maybe this vegetation over here was in between me and the signal. 
or the signal in the aircraft. I don't know. So I'm definitely going to uh, try swapping out this um, receiver here. Check it out. This little tiny receiver here. It seems like it doesn't have good reception. It happened to me once out on the field and I couldn't figure out what it was. It wasn't the flight controller didn't reset or anything. It just fell out of the sky. So that's usually a fail safe. Trying to get it to ready. It won't ready. Let's sit it down. So I think that's what's happening with it. I'll put one of my receivers that I usually use in and see what we get. Okay, I keep forgetting that this thing has motor stop turned on. And so it was ready the whole time. Just that motor stop was turned on. So I'm suspecting not a good receiver in this one, in the DSMX version at least. But I think if you get FR Sky, I think you get a really good receiver. I think you get an XM Plus or something like that. An XM or XM Plus. I got the 90GN and the 90GN comes with the XM Plus. So as you can see, it's a really nice flyer though. And really no issues with brownouts or anything since I adjusted the pigs. But let's see, what's our battery at? Our battery's at 10.3 volts. Fluctuating. getting a little bit of the buzzer there so let's bring it in because my three minute mark it stops on my transmitter it resets every time I uh, disarm so and the battery is giving up too so that's it a quick flight demo of the SPC maker 95 GF, GF 95. And I'm gonna swap out this receiver here and we're gonna come back again. Thanks for watching.